The goal is for you to be so regulated that you are able to sense this function. And once you are able to sense this function, you will be able to do anything, okay? Hey y'all, welcome in or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Norma Darling and I'm super happy to be back with another video. I know it's been a while, it's been about 10 months, girl. It was early this year when it was the last time I did a video and that wasn't a video that I was ultimately proud of. Um, I was kind of rushed a little bit, but I'm back. I feel like that friend that just like leaves for, for a certain amount of time and they come back and it's like, girl, where you been at? But the catch up is always really, really good. And I feel like, you know, the space in between each video is a-okay because I do pr produce um, thoughtful, very quality videos that's good for mindset and growth. And I think you can take that and, you know, implement that in your life for a certain period of time. So it works out regardless but i am back i am not gonna make any promises i'm not gonna say <laughs> i'm gonna try to be back because i don't know how that's gonna go but i can fingers crossed that i will continue to post content um as of right now i am posting on my instagram page primarily at darling that dot files um i did have my personal instagram but i just went ahead and made that private and i just thought it'll just make more sense to just have you guys you know follow content page and you get to see everything there so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video so before we get started um this is my drink of choice it is kombucha this is the i think it's the mango one i think this is the mango one and it is in a wine glass because cheers okay if you're not drinking kombucha please start drinking kombucha it's really good for your stomach it's good for your gut health your digestion system digestive system um about a cup a cup maybe two cups um a day is fine just don't overdo it because your stomach will hurt and yeah let's get into this video so in today's video we're going to be talking about regulating yourself when you think of this you might think of regulators okay i know it's a song dun, 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 regulators um you might think of like rules and regulations um so when we go on google we always have to get the google definition also this is my case it's from Shein to control and or maintain the rate or speed of a machine or process so that it operates properly okay um so that is the google definition of a regulated now you guys know with my videos you can take it how you want to take it um nothing i say is always the exact term but you take it and apply it to your personal life. For this video, we're gonna be talking about how to be a regulated individual. And my personal definition, and if you guys have a definition of a regulated individual, drop it in the chat because I do wanna hear about it. So when I think of a, of a regulated individual, I think of someone who is calm, but calm in a sense where they just feel happy at ease they don't they're not overthinking or they're not stressed or they're not like operating in a negative when i think of a regulated individual i think of someone who probably like just finished meditating or you know rather if you want to get a picture of a regulated individual think of someone that like you know just finished praying maybe just finished meditating maybe just finished going on a run you know they're happy the decisions that they're making are fully theirs it's not decisions that's like backed up based off of like fear or anger or something that happened earlier. I think it's someone who knows themselves, who's already comfortable with themselves, and who takes steps to be a regulated individual. So step number one to being a regulated individual is to build a routine, some type of routine for yourself. Now, your routine is totally up to you. For some people, it might be making sure to work out one or two times a week, and that's totally okay, go for it. Um, for some people, it might be reading their Bible um, at least once a week. Maybe it's going to church on a Sunday. Um, maybe it's taking naps. You need to have a routine that you complete on a weekly, daily, or monthly basis. Something that you go back to. And essentially, the purpose of that routine is to make you feel whole. It's to make you feel like, okay, this is for me. This is my moment of grounding, whichever way it may be. Now, for me recently, I've been um, going to church more. I've been learning more about God. So a lot of my mindset 
shift a little bit so in this video i will be talking about you know having a relationship with god every now and then i will be talking about you know mental health which is super important to me and you guys know i'm really 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 big on like wellness spiritual wellness mental wellness all that so all those aspects will be in my videos as i continue to make videos um so just expect to hear that as well so, of course i have to go to google okay for all you nitpickers out there go on google and before um you know me mentioning the reasons why i believe that um routine works um this is what google is saying so it helps with mental health physical health sense of accomplishment feeling in control creativity productivity and independence all of these are positives essentially to be a regulated individual you want to focus on the positives you want to focus on shifting your mindset shifting yourself into a positive space because when you are in a positive space you make better decisions your outcomes are better you are thinking more logically therefore you will be a regulated individual versus if you are in a negative mindset you are then your outcomes will be negative your actions will then be negative so essentially having that routine helps with becoming a regulated individual <laughs> okay so this is number two and this is actually something that i spoke to one of my friends about and okay we're talking about beyonce right and we were just like you know she said that beyonce Beyonce paints and i was like oh my gosh i can totally see like in the future beyonce like releasing her paintings and they're they cost like millions and billions of dollars and she was just like no i don't think so and um i was like why not he brought this to my attention and what it was is that sometimes like people have things that are just for themselves and when she mentioned that um i decided that i wanted to get something that was just for me that i do personally every week and i don't post about it i know this is the age of social media where you post and everything i don't post about it I don't talk about it i just don't share it because it's personal to me so i think that's also one thing that would really help with becoming a regulated individual is having something that is just yours maybe like only your close friends and family know um whether it's like painting maybe it's like a class that you do every week maybe it's uh i don't know whatever you want to do i guess but having that thing that's specifically for you and you don't share it you don't post about it and you know you track your progress you see how you're doing in that that is a way to become a regulated individual so another way to regulate yourself which you guys know i really speak about this heavily is to surround yourself with other regulated individuals okay <laughs> i am really big on meeting new people i am an introvert yes but i'm also an extrovert i force myself to be an extrovert so that i can elevate and succeed in this life because if i didn't lord knows you need to find other regulated individuals and think about it like this right the way that you will find other individuals that are also regulated, other individuals that are moving with intention, with purpose, that are moving in a positive mindset, is going to spaces where they would usually be. One of those places is church, right? That was for me. I joined a Christian group and I've met a group of amazing ladies. I was able to also go to church and meet more people, you know, and these are people that have good intentions, people that are good energy, people that are moving with a certain purpose and with certain morals and integrity that you wouldn't find if you were to go somewhere else <laughs> so definitely um surrounding yourself with more regulated people and not only with just that um if you're not a christian there's multiple other ways you can do it you know maybe joining a yoga class you know maybe joining a hiking class maybe joining like some type of meditation class or maybe joining the mental health seminar you will meet other individuals that have this regulated mindset that knows that, okay, I need to make sure that I'm good, that I'm in this positive mindset, positive energy, positive space in order for me to operate in this life. You also, to be a regulated person, you have to do regulated stuff. And now I keep saying regulated, 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 regulated. I keep saying that every time I say regulated, take a shot. No, I'm playing, I'm like, no, no. You have to do regulated stuff. And when I say regulated stuff, I'm saying stuff like you need to journal 
And I always push for that. You need to journal. You need to write out your emotions. If you can't afford a therapist, get a therapist. If you can't, journal, it's okay. Go out there and meet good people. You need to do that in order to be regulated because yes, you can want to change. You can want to have this mindset. You can want to have this physical shift, but if you're not doing anything about it, then baby girl, you just talking and stop talking. You know what I mean? Like you need to like physically do it. And therefore, in order to be a regular individual, you need to one, meet those people and to do those things. And also rid yourself of bad habits or old habits. For example, I used to be a big party girl, okay? Uh, last year I partied a lot and that was also when I was at my most unhealthiest. Like my face was super puffy. If you guys watch my other videos, my face was super puffy. I wasn't sleeping right, I was eating cookout. Like, girl, I was a mess, okay? And I had to learn that I needed to remove myself from those environments in order for me to be my best self because if I continue to do things that were in dysregulation, I would have never been a regulated person. As much as I know you can have these things in increments, but if you add it to your routine, you will never be a regulated individual. And that is just facts, okay? That's just facts. <laughs> also, um, get into my makeup. If you guys want a makeup tutorial, Okay, just let me know in the comments. Seriously, let me know because I will give you one. I I wanted to do the inspo was from my 20-year-old self. So I'm 24 now and, you know, I've been doing this for a while now, maybe like five years, I think. But I wanted to do a makeup style that I did when I was about 20 and this is it. So if you guys want that tutorial, just let me know. I do not get keep. And then you also want to take in regulated content, Okay. And what that means is I know we are all, we're all chronically online. As much as we don't want to believe it, we are. Whether it's Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. I recently had to delete my TikTok because when I get on that app, I am dysregulated, okay? I'm thinking about all the ways that I can spend money. I'm thinking about all the things I need to do. I'm thinking about the thoughts of 200 people that I just swiped by. And once you realize that that's not normal, you'll want to make that change as well, okay? So you need to make sure that you are consuming regulated content. And how do you do that? Start by cleaning off your page or deleting apps that you know that causes you a little bit of dysfunction. For me, it was um, Snapchat and it was TikTok. Snapchat because these were glimpses into people's lives, which was really personal with people that I wasn't even talking to no more. I didn't really care for and it just didn't make sense. I felt like I had to also consistently post little things in my life that people did not need to see or didn't really care about. So that was an app that gone by the wayside, okay? That one and TikTok, I can't. Gone, okay? Now, Facebook is still there. You know, Facebook is for like the hometown friends and family and stuff like that. Cool. Instagram, what I had to do was I had to unfollow a lot of pages that was just messy, okay? And we know those messy pages. I'm not going to say them, but we know those messy pages. Sometimes you got to unfollow. And the only time you see posts from them is when one of your friends posted on their story, okay? Sometimes you just got to unfollow. I also went ahead and tried to change my algorithms. Um, essentially, the goal is you want to see hair, makeup, fashion. That's, that's really what I want to see. I don't want to see anything else. This page of your Instagram, this should be curated for you, right? Therefore, you should see things you want. As you can see, engagement rings, um, nails, you know, maybe some like hair stuff, you know, some like cats and houses. That's what I want to see, okay? That is what's going to keep me regulated. So essentially, you want to go out there and do a cleanse of your Instagram, even if it's removing people that you follow that you don't talk to no more, okay? Unfollow them, remove them as a follower too. Don't be one of those people that unfollow people and don't remove them as a follower. Also remove them as a follower. Don't be weird. Do that, okay? And I promise you, you will feel a sense of happiness. You'll be able to pick up your phone and put it back down because you're not feeding off of toxicity on a daily basis. You're not waking up because you know we be waking up and going on our phones. We like we that's what we do. This is a generation. This is the generation that we live in. We wake up and go on our phones. And it's okay to admit it, but as long as if you're going on your phone and the first thing you see is not some drama, that's maybe it's okay to wake up and see bunnies. You know what I mean? Like maybe it's okay to wake up and see your favorite thing. Maybe it's bacon or apple pie. So yeah.
y'all i'm about to edit this video but <laughs> when it comes to anything dysfunctional you really got to stand on business anything that's not regulated you got to be like no like really stand on business because that's really how you're going to get yourself to where you where you want to be is to be very stern in your boundaries i wanted to just add this clip because i thought about it be very stern in what you want be very like in your boundaries be very like i don't got time for that shit be on your sugar honey iced tea okay even though i just cursed you need to stand on business about being regulated but yeah <laughs> the reason why it's really important to be regulated is because when you are a regulated individual you are able to sense dysfunction okay and now this is dysfunction in spaces and people and um you know wherever wherever okay you're able to sense dysfunction i hope i can explain the best way that i possibly can so when you are a dysfunctional individual there are also a lot of mental and physical things going on with your body so for one when you're dysfunctional there is usually a lot of anxiety a lot of um depression and other negative um emotions I'm not sure if you guys have ever been around a dysfunctional person, but let's say, for example, you know, you're at a store, right? And you see a woman and she's like really anxious and she's like rushing, okay? She's anxious and she's rushing. And I'm sure she's not making the best decisions in that moment because she's not fully grounded. She's not regulated. She's not making a decision. Versus somebody else you might see, you know, that just came from the gym or that just came from like church or that just came from meditation they might come in and make better decisions and just be a better person overall so essentially you want to be regulated so that you're able to sense dysfunction okay and you're able to make a decision so essentially with being a regulated individual you're also one of the biggest things for me is that you're able to lessen your stress right so as we all know stress is very detrimental to the body right there's a lot of things that you know can happen when you're stressed and well obviously this page is for the girls but you know the guys watch it too so hey guys you know but essentially when you're stressed what happens is that your cortisol levels are increased right and now if you're constantly in a stage of being stressed and your cortisol levels are so high that you're you know operating and living life with high cortisol levels there are different effects that it can actually have on you so one of those effects actually is weight gain around the stomach and abdomen so when you're a dysfunctional not regulated individual you are more likely to be a little bit bigger maybe a puffier face um weight around your stomach in your back area because you're so stressed your stress hormones are through the roof and you're making decisions that's probably already not good you know what i mean so you want to make sure that you have that under control you have increased anxiety okay and as we all know i have not met a human in this world that does not have anxiety it's a very normal human emotion people you know we overthink we think about the what ifs what could happen things that probably will never happen in this lifetime and that is very normal. It makes me think, I met someone the other day and you know, we were just talking and like her energy was a little like anxious a little bit. And with me, I'm an empath. So like, I really like people's energy. I can't like if they have too much energy or it's just like, like negative, I just cannot be around it. So she, um, she was saying she was anxious and she drinks a lot of coffee. She was saying she was anxious. She drinks a lot of coffee and she was offering me caffeine gum now for a lot of people caffeine makes them anxious and that's just a fact let's be real caffeine spikes our heart heart rates caffeine makes us jittery and we crash at the end of it so there's literally little things that we can adjust to become regulated individuals for example less caffeine intake Maybe waking up a little bit early, starting your day with a walk and drinking water would help rather than taking caffeine to give yourself an artificial source of energy that eventually will lead to the anxiousness, which then makes you a dysregulated individual and puts you in that space, okay? Yeah. Some long-term effects of like high cortisol, right? So we have heart disease, which is scary. High blood pressure, high blood sugar, the digestive issues, problems, anxiety, depression, headaches, migraines, weakened immune system, and heart disease. So 
I say all of this to say is that when I come on this channel and, you know, I give advice for, you know, finding ways to create a mindset shift, it is not only for the things that we want in life. It is not only for the things that we hope to achieve. It is not only to have a glow up or become an it girl. I know that's like really popular these days. I want to be an it girl. I want to be this. I want to be that. Cool. Great. Do it. But being able to take videos like this and listen to it and watch it, I really hope that you guys are able to make a shift, able to make a mindset shift from removing yourself from one area to another area. In conclusion, I hope that everyone is able to regulate themselves. I hope that everyone is able to find that peace. I hope everyone is able to find a routine. Everyone is able to just be able to be an individual that understands himself and is able to physically, mentally, and emotionally and spiritually move themselves to a positive lifestyle that can move themselves to a positive lifestyle that then in turn produces positive energy, positive outcomes, positive actions, and just overall wellness and well-being. You know, essentially, when we talk about this regulation, the goal is for you to be so regulated that you are able to sense this function. And once you are able to sense this function, you will be able to do anything, okay? You'll be able to move through this life. You'll be able to get what you want. You'll be able to, you know, build that relationship with God, work on your spirituality, get the dream body, get the dream job, get the dream relationship, get whatever you want. Once you become regulated, you're able to get that, okay? So that is what I wanted to say for you guys today. And I hope I see you guys in my next video. Um, definitely follow, okay? Subscribe. I'm really trying my best to come here as like more. I know like, you know, girl, people be living lives, okay? Like there's life outside of social media. And yes, I love my internet besties. Um, so I will try to be back with more advice, more videos. And of course, definitely subscribe, share. Share this to like, you know, the woman in your life that you really care about, the men in your life that you really care about. Share this, have them watch this in hopes of, you know, them becoming regulated people you know who might need it, okay? And make sure to follow my Instagram page at Darling Files. Um, I post content there. Uh, and yeah, subscribe and... I hope to see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye, y'all.